Hi everyone, this is Arad from English for Everyone and today in this video I'm going to talk about two words, two phrasal verbs Wake up and get up They are very similar, but they are different Both are two word phrasal verbs The verb and a, let's say, article or preposition, whatever you call it And then the other one is also the same thing Wake up and get up And both are around, you know stopping, sleeping and these kind of things okay, so they are very close sometimes these similarities cause confusion now I want to talk about these two wake up means to stop sleeping sometimes you open your eyes okay, so you are awake and awake is the other word so when you wake up you are awake you are not sleeping anymore so you are sleeping and then you wake up and then you are awake so, wake up is the line between sleeping and being awake, okay? I am awake, you are awake, you can see me. Someone is sleeping at the moment, they can't see people around them, okay? So, wake up is the line between being asleep and uh, being awake. Maybe sometimes you are in your bed, maybe your eyes are closed, but you are not sleeping, you are awake. So, you, you, then you want to wake up because you are not sleeping. So, wake up is the line between sleeping and being awake. Alright, sometimes you go to bed and you wake up several times. You do not come out of bed, okay? But you wake up. Something bangs and you wake up and then you go to sleep again. Um, your dog maybe comes on you and then you wake up. Uh -huh. So, this is when you open your eyes when you are not sleeping anymore but get up get up is when you go out of your bed when you're not lying down on your bed or wherever you've been sleeping on sofa or wherever so when you come out of your bed you get up that's not waking up so you might wake up so we first we wake up and then we get up it's like getting out of your bed Sometimes they are in the same minute. Sometimes there is a big gap between the two. All right. Okay. We'll have some examples and that will be more clear. I, this is not that difficult. Wake up. Uh, the past tense is woke up. It's an irregular verb. And this is the verb bit. So this changes to woke. And get up is also a uh, also an uh, irregular verb. So that is got up. So wake up woke up, get up, got up, okay, that's it, now, talk, let's talk about these things, I woke up several times last night, this is what I just explained, so, you go to bed, you do not come out of bed, let's say for 6 hours, 7 hours, 8 hours, but you wake up several times, you are awake, because something makes noise, your, maybe your phone goes off or something like that, and then you wake up, and then you go to sleep again. So that's why I used woke up, that's the past tense, because I am talking about last night. Now, let's look at this. Don't wake me up. Okay, and the dog woke me up. The dog woke me up. I brought this to, to tell you something. One, wake up, the past tense is woke up. The other thing is that we can separate the two, wake and up, and put the objective or object pronoun in between. Okay? We mainly would not use a name. We would not put a name over here between the two. We mainly use, or we mainly put the object pronoun. For example, me, you, her, him, his friend, her friend, her mother. So, the dog woke uh, her up, the woke were, um, they don't wake her mother up. Okay, so we use those kind of words over there. We would not say Janet, or we would not use a name over here. Of course, if we do, it's not a big deal. It's okay. All right. So you can put these two aside. I mean, uh, um, you can separate these two and put the object pronoun in between. Now, okay, well, we do not have such a thing for this one. That is, that, that would not use, that would not need a 
object, an object, okay? So, let's look at this one. I woke up at 8, but I got up at 8.30. So, you know, wake up, in this case it's woke up, past tense, is something that, uh, is that line, maybe the time that your phone or your alarm clock goes off. So, you wake up, but it doesn't mean that you also get up. You might be still there in your bed. In this case, the person is still in bed for 30 minutes, awake, with open eyes maybe, maybe talking on the phone, maybe checking emails or other things, then comes out of bed after 30 minutes. So that's, that's why we have a different verb over here, because you do not wake up again, you just get up, you have woke, yeah, you are awake already. I woke up at 8, but I got, uh, I got up at 8.30. That might be your story. I don't know. <laughs> and now, this one. Let's have the surprise ready before she wakes up. So the person, she is sleeping. Okay, she's sleep, sleep, and then other people, uh, we, are making this this ready, the surprise ready. So when she wakes up, then she'll be surprised. So this is, again, wake up. All right. And now, the other thing about get up is that get up is not always after sleeping, okay? You might lie down for, for some time, for minutes, and then, again, rising from the lying position onto your feet is also called to get up, okay? So, I am awake, I'm not sleeping, I am awake, but I am lying on the sofa or on the bed or on the floor. Then, I wake up, uh, I'm sorry, I get up, okay? I am awake, I do not need to wake up, but I need to get up on my, onto my feet. Alright, I'm, I'm onto my feet. So, here it is. He is so lazy, he made me get up and bring him some water. Okay, this is another scenario. Imagine a friend, you're lying down, you're chilling, but a lazy friend like one of mine makes you get up because he would not go get himself some water. He asks you and then what happens? You have to get up, get up from lying down, from uh, that position, you have to get up and go get him some water or something like this. This is it. He is so lazy, he made me get up and bring him some water. He doesn't get up, he makes you get up. So that is the difference. Wake up is when you sleep, when you open your eyes, you're not sleeping anymore, and get up is when you stand up, when you go on your on your when you go out of your bed or something like this. I hope this has been helpful and this is more clear now and if it's not or if there's any other questions let me know by commenting it below the video and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye!